Beaters, it's Gina from WorkingInOpal.com and I have a new earring tutorial to share with you guys today. This is going to be something different as we are using some four hole beads. We're going to be using the quadra lentils. These right here, everything you see here and everything that you need to make these earrings is available at EurekaCrystalBeads.com and as usual I will leave the full list of materials and links to those materials right below the video. Besides the quadra lentils, you're also going to be using some of these nibbit beads today and we're stacking these together in this really fun way and also surrounding some beautiful 10 millimeter Swarovski Rivoli's. So in addition to your lentils, your Rivoli's and your nibbits, you'll also need some size 15 O seed beads, some size 11 O seed beads, the ear wires of your choice, and I'm also going to be using two wire guards here where I'm connecting my ear wires, but you're welcome to make a loop of seed beads if you'd rather do that. My personal beading thread of choice is the 0 .006 inch 6 pound fire line and I'll be using the color smoke. You'll need between 4 and 6 feet of that for this project. Finally, you're going to want to have a size 10 beading needle, a pair of scissors, and a pair of jewelry pliers. Go ahead and thread your needle with your 4 to 6 feet of beading thread and let's get started. All right, let's begin by forming a ring of beads. We're going to start by stringing on one of our quadra lentils a nibbit bead, the smaller end, another quadrilentil, another nibbit from the smaller end, a quad, and continue doing this until you have five of each on your thread. And that is the sequence you should have. Go ahead and pull these down. And just tie a knot right here making sure you don't get any of the beads caught up in the knot. There we go. And it doesn't have to be too terribly tight. We're going to tighten up as we go. So that's the first step. This is going to be the base of our earring. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop in a 15 0 seed bead in each one of these little gaps on the outer ring of our nibbets. What you want to do now is make your way to this outer hole on your nibbit bead. So if you're coming out of the lower hole, just go ahead and step up there and go through the top hole. And then pick up one of your 15 OC beads. And this is where you want to pay a little bit closer attention because the quadra lentils, of course, have four holes. So there's more of a chance you'll go through the wrong one. Like I said, we're going to be making the base of our ring of beads for our earring. And I passed through this bottom left hole in step one. Now we want to go through the bottom right hole. So go through that, popping your 15 O seed bead right in between, because those are going to fill our little gaps that we have in those spaces between the beads. Pick up another 15 O. Go through the outer hole of your next nibbit and follow this process all the way around. So again, I'm going to go through the bottom right hole of my next quadrilentil, through the outer hole of the nibbit, bottom right of the quad. and so on. So as you're doing this, you want to make sure the quadrilentils stick up a little bit. You're going to have two empty holes sticking up over that base ring. Okay, I'm going to do the last one and I'm going to go through the outer hole of that nibbit. And I'm also going to continue on through the 15 0 that we had put in in the first place. Also through that bottom right hand hole of the quadrilentil. And we're also going to want to not only step up but make our way back toward the center again. So go through in the opposite direction the bottom left hole of the quadrilentil you're currently coming out of to get yourself in a better position. Coming out of that bottom left, now in the opposite direction, go through the top left. 
and that's going to position us on the upper level of holes and also on the inside. And we're going to be stacking one nibbit bead on each of these existing nibbits. We're working on the inside again, so go through the smaller end. Pick that up, and I'm going to set this on top so you can get an idea of where it's going to go. And then we're going to go through the top left hole of the next lentil bead. And that nibbit's going to sit right there in place. And we're going to repeat. So pick up another nibbit through the smaller end and go through the top left hole of the next quad. Picking up another nibbit and going through the top left hole. Make sure that it is sitting in place properly and not flipped upside down or anything. Pick up another. And now we're on our last one. And I'm going to continue not only through the top left of this lentil, but I'm also going to continue through the next nibbit that we get to. I'm going to pause here just for a moment. You may want to do the same. I'm going to pop a needle on my tail thread and I'm going to make a couple of half hitch knots and also weave my tail thread back in. That way I'm not dealing with it through the rest of the tutorial. All right, so we are coming out of this inner hole of this nibbit and we are ready to move on to the outer portion. So go directly across through the outer hole of that nibbit bead and pull. And now, just like we did before, we want to pop in a 15 seed bead in between the outer hole of the nibbit and the quadrilentil. So go through the remaining hole that we haven't gone through yet on the top right. And we're going in the opposite direction, just popping in one of those beads in between each. So pick up a 15 go through the quad, pick up a 15 go through the nibbit until you've gone all the way around. And take your time, don't rush, make sure you're going through the right holes of the quadrilentals because mistakes happen. I made mistakes too when I was first coming up with this and I would accidentally go through the wrong hole if I was rushing or not paying attention. So don't feel bad if you do that. But slowing down and just taking your time will help. All right, so this is what we end up with, and we have our complete base done here. You can see we have the nibbit stacked and the quads separating each of these beads nicely, and we're ready to set our Rivoli. So go ahead and get that out and get out your 11 O seed beads. All right, to start bezeling around our Rivoli, we want to make our way into this inner ring again, and we want to be coming out one of our quadrilentals. I am currently coming out of the outer hole of my nibbit. I'm going to go through the inner hole and also travel through the top left hole of that quadrilentil that I'm getting to next. And then we're gonna pick up two 15 O's, one 11 O and two 15 O's. We're gonna skip over the next nibbit bead and we're gonna go directly through the top left of the next quadrilentil. And we're going to repeat this step all the way around. So pick up two more 15 O's, one more 11 O, and two more 15 O's. Skip over the nibbit and pass directly through the top left hole of the next quadrilentil. And keep doing that until you have done it five times. Okay, I have one more to go. 
and you're still gonna go through the top left of that quadrilentil for your last one. And then this time you're gonna travel up to that 11-0 seed bead. So go through the next two 15-0s that you get to, as well as the 11-0. You can set this down for a second and get yourself situated and you can go ahead and pop in your Rivoli in between these seed beads. And as you're beading the next step, it's going to tighten everything up together. So get your Rivoli centered there in between the seed beads, give it a little press, and also pull on your thread to make sure the seed beads are tightening up around it. And then we're just gonna be popping in three 11 O's in between each of these 11 O's that are already here. So pick up three more 11 O's, and then go through that 11-0 that's sitting right there on the peak of that next section. And pull, give it a turn, pick up three more 11-0s, and go through that next 11-0 that you get to. And keep pulling this nice and tight as you go, and hold that Rivoli in place while you pull on your thread and repeat this all the way around. So three more 11 O's going through the next 11 O. And turn. And I'm on my last one. I'm gonna press my finger down on this and pull my thread nice and tight to bring everything together. And there you have it. Let me clean up some of my seed beads and then we're gonna tighten this up together. So don't put away your seed beads yet because we do need to attach our wire guard, but I just didn't want to keep knocking into them. What you wanna do is you wanna go through this center of 11 O's a couple more times to really tighten this up and keep your Rivoli in place. I'm still coming out of that 11 O. I'm gonna go through these in sets of four because I feel like that gives us that nice pentagon shape if we tighten this up on each of the five sides. So I'm gonna go through the next four seed beads and really pull that. Then I'm gonna go through the next four and really pull and so on. So just keep doing this. The tighter, the better. You can see we're starting to get some nice structure and nice tight lines with these 11 O's the more we go through them. All right, so I'm really happy with that. Isn't that a beautiful crystal? I'll leave the link to that specific one down below. It's so gorgeous. Here is what the back of your earring should look like so far, and we are ready to attach a wire guard so we can get those ear wires in place. You're gonna be framing that right over top of one of your nibbit sections. So that's where you wanna make your way back to. I'm gonna be going through these two 15 O's and then through the lentil. That's just what I get to next. So just follow your thread path in the most logical way that you can. Now I'm gonna go up through the top hole of the lentil, not through the 15 L, but just through the lentil. And that gets us into a good position to get started with this last step. All right, so now you wanna pick up one of your 11 O's and two of your 15 O's, and then go ahead and pick up your wire guard. So go through one side of that and pull this down to your work. And then you can go through the other side of your wire guard and pick up two 15 O's and one more 11 O and pull those down. And you're gonna be making sort of an X. So we're coming out of the top left of this lentil, go across to your other lentil and go through the opposite side. So go through the top right of that other lentil and pull this. 
and you can see the wire guard is kind of diagonally in place at this point. Now go through the top left hole of the lentil you're coming out of going in the opposite direction. And this time just pick up 111-0 and 115-0 and pull those down. And you're gonna be joining these together by going through the 15 -0 that's right below this wire guard, as well as that side of the wire guard, and go ahead and pull that. And there you can see how it brought that side together. Now we're gonna go through the other side of the wire guard and the next 15 -0 that is right below that. Carefully pulling and making sure our thread sits in the groove. And then finishing this side by picking up one more 15 0 and one more 11 0. And then we'll be going through the top right hole of the lentil to finish this side. There we go, bringing everything together. Pull that, and there you have it our wire guard sitting there nicely on top of that section of nibbit beads. And we're ready to knot our work. And once we do that, we can put on our ear wire. So I'm just making a half hitch knot there. And then I'm gonna go through a couple more beads and make another knot here. And you can do this as much as you want. I'm just gonna make three and then stop there. So here's my third one. There we go. I'm gonna go through a few more beads whatever I can get through. And there we go. And clip off my thread. And now I'm just attaching my ear wire to the wire guard. I love these ear wires too. Again, I'm gonna link to everything specifically and here is our gorgeous pair of earrings all complete. This is a pretty quick project and a pretty simple way to use these quadra lentils. There are also quadra tiles, which are a four hole square shape that may possibly work with these as well. I haven't tried them out. And like I said, you can find these particular colors as well as much more and so many more beads and beading supplies at EurekaCrystalBeads.com. So go check them out and dream up your own color variation. I want to thank you guys so much for being with me for another tutorial. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question down below. And you can always feel free to share with me any of the finished pieces that you've made from my tutorials on my Facebook page because I love seeing what you guys have come up with as far as your own color combinations. It's really inspiring for me to be able to see what you've done based on my videos. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe and well, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching!